What's up, what's up? My name is Rio. Welcome to my gaming channel. I just want to quickly say thank you for yesterday's Dark Souls love and support on that DLC video. I can't not wait for October 25th to come, but today we are shifting gears into something that I've not talked about on the channel in a very long time since the very, very start of the channel, which is Game 5. And I cannot wait to actually start playing Halo 5 again. Obviously, I did. And you're looking at the footage while we talk about Anvil's Legacy coming September the 8th. I think it's September the 8th or September the 9th. I'm, it's September the 8th. So, this is the September update of Halo 5 completely free DLC. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, 343, for leading the industry in the proper direction and not charging us for goddamn microtransactions. Because you can actually get the rec packs in game just like Overwatch's loot box. Just saying. And if you want to support them, you obviously can. September is going to be a pretty... Uh, I'm just going to read off the article to you guys. September is going to be a pretty busy and very exciting month for Halo fans with some awesome new experiences heading your way on multiple fronts. From beginning the craze of creativity of Forge to Windows 10 PCs and to releasing more exciting new free content for Halo 5 Guardians on the Xbox One. You know what I love? Even though Overwatch has a big share of the FPS market right now, is that 343 still supporting Halo 5. Kudos, you learned from your mistakes in the Master Chief Collection. I just wanted to say that, being completely honest, moving forward. To a brand new Halo 10 PC Halo app. Basically, you can work on Forge maps on your Windows 10 PC. Me, personally, I don't like Windows 10. So, I probably won't dive into this. But I'll dive definitely into the DLC that's coming in game because I love me some Halo 5. I just lost my place. Halo fans are going to have some new shiny toys to get their virtual hands on come September the 8th. Back in May, we announced that Halo 5 Forge was coming to Windows 10 PC and 343 Industries alongside with our friends at Skybox Labs. They're the guys who do the maps, trust me, they do the job. Are proud to help usher in brand new Air Force Captain Cruise community, giving Halo 5 Guardians entire Forge level of creation experience on Windows 10 PCs. Now, we knew something like this was going to happen because Microsoft is pushing a lot of their stuff onto PC. Hell, even Sony's doing it with the PS4. I'm okay with it. I'm just kind of meh. I, you know, I just recently got into. Uh, gaming on my on my rig, so it's kind of one of those things that all works in the end for me, and I can enjoy it. I don't really care what system it's on. Uh, so basically, along with a host of awesome new features, this is for the forge side, uh, forge side of things, including mouse and keyboard support, which is great. When you're editing those forge maps, it's extremely hard to do it on a controller. The people who do it on a controller. Goddamn thank you for doing such an amazing job on those four map, uh, forge maps that you do. I do half-ass, uh, half-ass, uh, half like, multi-tier WWE wrestling ring fucking creations from hell. But you guys do some amazing shit, needless to say. So I, I can't wait to see what people are able to do on Windows 10. It also comes with 4K resolution display capability and a brand new content browser. This is the one thing I gotta be a little bit mad about. The content browser, in my opinion, should have came a long time ago. Maybe I got spoiled with Halo 3. I think even Halo 4 had one that you could search up certain things. But it's a little bit uh, long overdue. But hey, it's here. It's all good. So brand new content uh, browser that makes it makes showcasing and sharing your creations easier than ever before with the ability to play with your creations with friends online. Host and play custom matches up to 16 players on Windows 10. Yes, you can play Halo 5 on Windows 10. So if you have a Windows 10 device and you don't own an Xbox One, I don't know why you don't, maybe you own a PS4. It's all good, we're all gamers in the fucking day. But like, if you know, you went for PlayStation and you don't have room for an uh, Xbox S, even though it's a great value, I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm just being completely honest. I recently went back to my Xbox for Halo 5 and like, some other games I own on it, and it's just an amazing experience with that controller. It just feels good. Even Sony does too. But uh, up to 16 players on Windows 10, and share your games with the community in for play in Halo 5 Guardians on Xbox One. So a little bit of cross-platforming there to some degree. Whether customizing existing creations or inventing brand new ones, Halo 5 on Halo 5 
board, a Windows 10 opens the floodgates to incredible new possibilities in Halo 5 Guardians and Beyond. I think it's really cool if they're implementing it, and I can't wait to see exactly how it goes. But this is where the meat comes in, at least for me, because I'm a console peasant playing Halo 5 on my console because I don't like Windows 10 in the way it interacts with a lot of my recording stuff and a lot of the stuff I daily, you know, day-to-day -day use. It doesn't always want to work nicely for me. So launching alongside with Halo 5 Forge on September the 8th will be nine, the ninth, I'm sorry, the ninth free content release for Halo 5. So this is the ninth DLC for Halo 5. That's insane. I can't wait to see how many more they actually do. Uh, which is called Anvil's Legacy, which includes seven new exciting new additions on several fronts. Some new toys to play with and new places to use them, new ways to share the experience and creations. But here's the thing. My favorite map in Halo 4, they took it, they remastered it, and they put it on San Helios. The arena map and the Warzone map are both San Helios based maps. They are absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully I can share some screenshots with you guys. I don't even think they released a trailer because I believe the trailer is coming out Friday. So if the trailer comes out, then obviously I'll probably try to do something with it then, you know, tomorrow. Because I'm actually recording this today early. The Anvil's Legacy free content release brings easily one of the most eager, anticipated features to Halo 5. That's an understatement to say the least. Um, there is a screenshot of, I believe this is the Warzone map. Because, if I'm not mistaken, the arena map is a little bit different. But if you've ever played the one map on arena, uh, I'm sorry, on Halo 4, not arena. If you played the map on Halo 4 called Haven, it's that map remastered and now called Mercy. Can I get a picture of uh, my uh, Mercy from Overwatch? Thing? I, I'm on Overwatch hype. Sombra let me down. Sides the point. I am excited to see exactly what they do with the way it feels. From what I saw in a little bit of a trailer, uh, it wasn't on their account, so that's why I didn't like fuck with it and you know do what I did with Dark Souls because that's a little bit of a small game. Just saying, um, they put like a waterway in. It doesn't affect the way you run across the map, but it affects the feel of the map. It makes it feel more like it's actually on San Helios instead of something that they plucked out of Halo 4 and made it ten times more pretty, which is actually what did happen. It actually feels like an or uh, organic piece of San Helios brought to life. And for me, I'm uber fucking excited to see exactly how that's all gonna come together into this map. And that just, it, it drives me nuts, needless to say. Um, then we get the new Rex. There are three new weapons in the Rex. They have not disclosed what those Rex are. Probably tomorrow again. Rumor is, and from one of the screenshots, it looks like we are getting the uh, ODST Silence pistol, which I'm gonna lose my shit if we do. He will say, um, I will openly say I'm not a big fan of the way you get Rex, and I wish that the Rex, uh, the uh, the DLC Rex were more on the maps to play with, like Halo 2 BR is on one of the maps, and I can go and I can pick it up, and it feels great. It honestly does. Um, Halo CE's pistol, I don't even think is on one of the maps. Maybe that, would, maybe because it would break the balance in all honesty. <laughs> That's not a gun I want everyone to pick up and three shot me in the head. The Halo 2 battle rifle, I think it's a little more balanced for Halo 5. It's a little out of place in time and space time continuum, but it, it just feels so good. It's like a knife through butter. It just, it's so perfect. So on Windows 10, there's going to be the Halo app that launches on September 8th alongside of it. And that's best to basically. I guess make it easier, kind of like Halo Waypoint originally was supposed to be, so I don't really know what to say about it. Um, I'll admit though, the gameplay you're probably watching, I'm rusty as fuck, in all seriousness. So, if it's if it's a little sloppy in certain parts, that's mainly why, because I've been playing Overwatch for four straight months on PC with like no console play outside of Uncharted here on the channel, and I think Doom, and even Doom that was prior to the me getting the Elgato HD, and that was a whole nother, you know, ball game, so God knows how long ago I filmed that footage, probably May, it's about four months. So I think, coming back into console play, side note, it's, uh, it, 
it's a little bit rusty, but it feels good. I'm going to probably do it a lot more often. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more if you enjoy my content. Check out the other videos. Like, I, I know I'm a small creator and respect them of the world. And this is like my first real outing when it comes to a fully fledged gaming channel. And I've always done card game kind of channels instead. But if you guys like what I do, then why not subscribe for more and you'll see more of me in your subscription feed. I'm Ryu Avalon for Ryu Avalon Gaming. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next video. Which is probably going to be an Overwatch video. Peace. Assassination. What is your